Yo, what's going on, guys? It is Chapo here, and welcome to another episode of my Hardcore Iron Man Rusher. So we're going to start this off with some quests. We just did the Mountain Daughter quest, and now we're starting Recipe for Disaster. It's about fucking time. Um, I figured I'd start to get Myth Gloves just because sooner or later here coming up, I will be getting my melee stats up. And uh, before I really didn't have a reason to get these gloves because with range, it's better to use the van braces. But, you know, with me starting to start getting my mage up, melee, yeah, it's just it's just about time, alright? So, that's what we're doing right now. And then after I did get the myth gloves, I said, you know what? We've been prolonging this too long. 50 attack. 50 attack. I thought I did every quest possible really for attack XP. And you'll find out later, I fucked up. I fucked up real hard, alright? But that's besides the point. Let's keep the quest going. Uh, right now, I just did Regicide. Uh, the reason for this is, I want a Crystal Bow. We're gonna do Jad here real soon. And, yeah, this quest was pretty AIDS, actually. I, I don't know why, but, yeah, I'm just really bad at questing, so... Give us that sexy bow, you son of a bitch. The bow that is going to literally rinse our bank. Look at we have only 1.7 mil, and I'm about to drop 900k on a new bow because I need a full bow to do Jad. So, yeah, I'm not really too happy about that, especially if we don't end up actually killing Jad. Regardless, I did have enough points to imbue it because you gotta imbue that shit. You gotta imbue it. So, got that out of the way real quick right here, and I figured. I don't want to go do Jed right now because I'm a little bitch. So let's start training a little more mage. There's 76 mage coming in. And I think that's going to be the last mage level for a while until I get a master wand and a mage's book. And basically just a shit ton of prayer pots. And this is what I was talking about earlier. I fucking forgot that I didn't do Vampire Slayer. I thought for sure I did Vampire Slayer. But when I was doing Nightmare Zone, everybody's like, Yo, do the vampire thing, and I was like, dude, I obviously I am, and then I checked, and I fucking wasn't, because I didn't do the quest. So, really, a fucking rookie move, close to 51 attack, but we should be alright. Uh, right now, we're getting wines to do probably one of the most terrible skills on this game, and don't ask why I made wines to do this, because, yeah, I mean, you'll, you'll see in a second, but I'm just an idiot, okay, um... Whatever, we got some cooking XP, fuck it. Yeah, as you could have guessed, we're going to do some thieving. Um, I don't like this skill at all. Okay, I, as I've released this video right now. I've been doing it for about three days. And I don't know, man. I'm starting to hate my life, like, a lot. So, yeah. And what I meant with the wines is you can just buy them south. So, really, it's not worth to make them. Which I did end up just buying them like towards the end but yeah we're just getting some fucking thieving levels there was 60 thieving coming in uh blackjacking is very click intensive and it kind of makes my brain explode and i hate it because i like to kind of just chill out when i play most of the time but whatever dude there's a 65 coming in so now we can go to the menafite menafite whatever the fuck you know we're gonna go over there and hopefully get a little more xp but first, check this shit out, boys. Bum bum. Bum bum. Bum bum. We have reached. Listen. Top 1K. Na na na, baby. Um, kind of just a cool achievement. Nothing too special, but, you know, I feel like we've been putting in some work, so, you know, give the credit where it's due. Wow, as I'm like putting the video together right now, I'm like, holy fuck, this is literally a thieving video. Regardless, there's 70 thieving. Yeah, so I feel kind of bad, but like, I mean, would you guys rather me just not put out a video when I do like boring shit like this? Or would you kind of like to know what's going on, you know? 75 thieving coming in. Um, yeah, I, I don't know, because I feel bad kind of putting out these videos, but I mean, I just, I haven't posted a video in like a week. I kind of want to let you guys know what's up and... You know, I mean, it's kind of important for the future goals that we're doing, so I guess, I don't know, man. But we're about to hit a pretty cool level, 80 thieving, nothing too special. 
We still have fucking 19 levels to go, like 11 mil XP. Um, but 80 means we can now go to the rogues then, and I've never done it, so I'm really looking forward to doing it, and, you know, hopefully we get pretty lucky on getting the set, and maybe we'll go to knights afterwards, probably not, uh, you know, we'll see. Yo, disregard what I said earlier, this is the most AIDS fucking minigame ever. I'm not gonna lie to you, it took me... 45 minutes to complete one round. I watched like 17 guides on YouTube and I guess I just suck at the game. Be well, we know that, but literally I was losing my mind. And also, can we please fucking acknowledge the fact that you need to get a new gem every time. Every time. Jagex, what the fuck is that? Why don't you just let us keep the gem so we don't have to talk to this stupid Brian guy every single time we fail it. Like, bruh. I just, I, I don't understand. We make it easy, Scape, but you can't even give us one goddamn gem to keep. Well, when we finally did complete the rounds, it started to be, I don't know, a little easy. And yeah, we got pretty lucky on this. No duplicates besides one pair of legs. And we almost got them all back to back. So I think it took me around 30 minutes once I finally got it down, which I guess is pretty lucky. But honestly, I almost gave up. Like, it was so bad in the beginning. There's the juicy 85 thieving coming in. Only 10 mil more XP. Yes, so lovely. I decided to get Shiloh Village out of the way because I wanted to maybe fish some food that I can then use at the good old Arty Nights. So we went there, we fished around, I don't know, maybe together a thousand trout and tuna, or fucking trout and salmon rather. And we cooked those while we were doing some homework, and I was like, all right, we got food. Let's go to maybe Arty Nights or something. And it turns out at 85 Thieving without the Arty Cloak too, because you need the defense requirement, you fucking fail every other pickpocket. So we took our little bitch ass back to the fucking uh, blackjacking, and there's 88 Thieving coming in. And I decided, okay, if I can't do it at 88 Thieving... Maybe I can get some of those dodgy necklaces and we'll head back to the Arty Knights because, dude, if I can just spam click five and use mouse keys to, to thieve, I would rather do that than give my hand a seizure. So I decided I'd slave these out a little bit. And after like 20 minutes, we got around 20 necklaces or something. And yeah, let's give it a shot. So, yeah, I did probably an hour worth just to see how bad it was. Uh, we got 89 thieving, but honestly, I was still failing a lot. I think I averaged like 140k XP an hour, and I mean, yeah, it's convenient, but it's really hard to stay here knowing I need 99, and I'm knowing that I'm getting like almost half XP than I can if I was to be at blackjacking. So, yeah, I think you know what that means. We're going to be going back to blackjacking. Because, dude, I just need this 99 out of the way. It's uh, it's getting to the point where I just, I don't even care about my hand. I just need this shit over with. So I guess it's kind of a good time now to just tell you what my plan is after 99 Thieving and kind of why I'm doing this. So originally I was going to go to Wyverns to just kind of camp there and get a shit ton of like Ranar seeds for prayer pots. That way I can use them for my 94 or 99 mage. I haven't decided which one I want to do yet. And yeah. But then I decided, you know, it's probably a little more efficient to just get the fucking 99 thieving. That way we basically have unlimited prayer pots because you won't fail at master farmers. And I can just stack up Ranar seeds. And that way we can actually get our like herb lore up and farming pretty high. Because maybe someday we'll get stamina, the stamina pool. Um, obviously we'll get the spec restore pool. So yeah, that's kind of the goal right now. After I get this, I'll probably get around 500 or so prayer pots, maybe more. And then with all the money, I should have around 10 or 11 mil. It's going to go straight into, uh, burst casts. And we'll probably just, while I'm, while I'm farming those, uh, Ranars, I'm probably going to get the mage book and the master wand. Um, I've never done that MTA before, so hopefully it's not two aids. Uh, so we're going to get that out of the way, and then with almost max mage for a one defense account, 
we're going to take our ass to the Dust Devils and, yeah, work on 94 or 99 mage. Tell me in the uh, chat or fucking comments, what do you guys think I should get, 94 or 99? Kind of want 99 just for the fashion scape. But, yeah, that's going to be the end of this video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Sorry it's kind of like boring content, but I just wanted to put a video out and kind of show you what I'm doing. If you enjoyed the content, leave a sub. And until next time.